the next little video recording of Billy, the Red Tail Black Pocket 2, and I'm going to give him some intravenous fluids. So he's very dehydrated, and we showed that by doing the skin slide test. And just for the camera, we might do it again, keep it all in one context, make editing easier. Um, here's Billy, and he's in a very depressed, shocked state. Um, and if I slide the skin across there, that should have gone go like that. But if I slide it across there, it just stays there. If I slide the skin across this way, it just stays there. So that means he's very dehydrated at the present stage. Um, and he's um, got wounds and slobbers in the mouth and so forth and doesn't want to swallow properly and eat. So I'm going to turn him around and I'll just show you where I'll be doing the work. Uh, I'll be giving him an injection initially intravenously um, and I'll be injecting in the jugular vein which is in amongst all these feathers on the right side of his neck. So we will just wet his skin with some hibi cleanse and we're going to start looking for that. Because he's in such a, a poor state, he's, um, I normally do this in a towel. Right, I found where there's a gap, of, gap in the feathers here. I haven't plucked feathers here, I've been looking for the little window. And I am, I've got hibby, hibby cleanse, I could be using KY jelly. Something that's going to just part the feathers and allow, allow us to mat. We found another puncture wound there in the neck that we didn't know about before. So I'm now going to wrap him up in a towel because I like to have him fully restrained when I'm doing this procedure. And we'll go from there. So here we go. I've rolled an edge of the towel a bit and I'm going to bring that round like that and tuck that in there and then I'm going to bring the towel firmly around in front of his shoulders and in this case we're just going to wrap his body so that he can't flap his wings and he can't wriggle his legs if he wanted to not that he and I'm going to tuck him in under my, into my lap. So I'm going to hold him like that. Then I'm going to take hold of this head. And if he was trying to bite me, I'd be sliding my finger down the back of the head round onto the side of the jaw here. And then doing that, they'd be steps that I would be doing. Anyway, at this stage, what I'm doing is trying to bring the towel back a little bit. I'm trying to stretch his neck a bit and I'm going to use the chopstick grip and we're going to find that spot that I showed you before where there is a gap and we're now starting to part the feathers and we can see some bruising here which is not from me but from the previous injuries and the way we restrain him here is is critical for success of giving an intravenous injection so I'm now looking for the different parts, the different veins, but there's been injuries up here. There's some, looks like there's some bruising and so forth underneath the skin. Again, the value of looking further, we've wet, that's a, um, an unexpected bonus. There's his windpipe right there. You can see those cross striations, that's the windpipe. And the jugular vein normally holds up somewhere very near here. And I haven't seen it properly yet, so I'm just looking. I wasn't expecting this to be difficult. That um, I'm been experiencing difficult find, difficulty finding the jugular. Maybe because he's so dehydrated. Maybe because there's something. All right, matey, just quietly. You're a beautiful birdie. Remember, we're dealing with sentient beings all the time. I'm going to have to make myself a little bit more space here. Anyway, what I not? All right, all right, all right. Okay. The jug of the vein does not seem to want to stand up. Okay. 
normally it, it's, uh, it's like a drain pipe, it's normally very, very obvious. Okay, well, we'll just try it for step two. to show you how to do that but sometimes you can't and I'm not going to go sticking a needle in when I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, we might try looking at the other side of his neck and see if that's... And I'll put some Hibby Cleanse. I just have a bottle of Hibby Cleanse which I just squirt there like that. In the great majority of birds you give um, intravenous injections in their right side of the neck. In this case we're going to have a look at the left side of his neck and wet that down and just see if a jugular vein, the left jugular vein comes up. Wetting it and parting the feathers makes the job a bit easier, usually. And this birdie's not being the usual easy case. And again I'm not Got a little bit of jugular down there. There. Right, we've got a. Maybe I'll get that vein there. I'll try that. Wrong needle. Want a little needle. Stay, matey. and take my finger off. Right, I'm now giving him what's known as a bolus injection. Not easy, but he's staying still. No, pull the needle out. needle's just gone out of the vein so it's just starting to swell the vein outside around the vein so we've got eight mils of the 10 mils intravenously right okay that might let us get the other jugular up in a moment when that's had time to to uh, get round okay. is that better Better. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> 